And this is the lie the devil never wants you to get. Sacrifice to God is never really a sacrifice because he always gives you more in return. And the devil always wants you to believe that's not true. He always wants you to think all those things you've spent your whole life striving for, that's really what the letter of success is. Don't give it to God. Don't, don't, don't go that way. Don't sacrifice that because what I have for you is more important. But the problem is most of us never see the things that are tempting us as garbage and worthless because it's not packaged that way. It's not packaged as garbage. It's not packaged as worthless. You know what it's packaged as? It's good for you. It's healthy. It's what everybody wants. It's what everybody strives for. Here's the thing you got to learn about the devil. And most people don't realize this. The devil ain't blatant. The devil is very cunning. He's a manipulator. He is the greatest marketer in the world. He is the deceiver. And a lot of us have this picture of the devil in our mind, and we got the wrong picture. We think the devil walking around in, in red spandex with a little fork, and he's hiding behind a bush, and then all of a sudden he jumps out and goes, I gotcha. I'm going to ruin your life. I'm going to poison and kill it, right? That's not what he does. That's not how he rolls. Actually, watch how the Bible describes him. For Satan himself masquerades as an angel of light. You know what he tells you? It's good because it feels good. If it feels good, it must be good. If everybody else is doing it, then it's got to be true. Forget the word of God. Come on. That's dated. It's, out, it's, it's, so, it's so broken. It's so old. Come on. That's what grannies do. We follow what everybody else does. We chase after it. He deceives he manipulates. He tricks. And then sometimes he'll use people that are not aligned with God to do the same. Jesus warned in Matthew chapter 7, watch this. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. See, a lot of people will say the right things, but they got the wrong motives. And a lot of times we buy into it because we're, oh, it's just some little sheep. See, that's what the devil does. He deceives. He manipulates. He tells you things are so good in your life when they're actually poison in your life. It's what he did with Adam and Eve from day one. What did he do with Eve? Did God really say? Well, I mean, no, no, God didn't say that. God said we could eat from all the trees, just not that one because that one will kill us. Oh, 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 God, you're not going to die. What's he doing? Well, did God lie to me? See, see, God knows if you'll eat that tree, what will happen, you'll be just like him. Is God trying to keep something from me? Little seeds of doubt to make you drink the poison. Here's what you've got to understand. Write this in your notes. Manipulation is why most people choose not to walk in their God-given identity. You know why most of us settle for the valley of mediocrity? It's because we've been manipulated. And we think, oh, this is a house with a view. Oh, no, no, you can't get better than this. You've been manipulated to believe something that is so bad for you is actually good. But here's the problem. No one ever wants to admit they've been manipulated. Your pride won't let you admit that, you've been gu that, that you're gullible. So what happens is, you dig your heels in and you start justifying it. Oh, no, 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 it's not bad. It's right. This is what everybody does. This is what the majority does. No way. That's not true. You're just speaking up. Don't, don't give me feedback. Don't, don't say something in my life. How dare you? Because our pride can't allow us to realize sometimes the father of lies is lying to us. The deceiver is deceiving us. And so what do we do? We go with the majority. We listen to the quote-unquote experts who tell us this is medicine for your soul. And we've been buying that lie for a lot, years, right? Do you understand that people just believe if someone says they're an expert, they believe it. You ever watch those commercials? 
where somebody's wearing a doctor's jacket, and then you read the fine print, actor. <laughs> Ain't really not, but we believe it. They're doing this on TikTok right now, too. People wearing scrubs acting like they're giving some medical advice. And we've been doing that for ages, right? Listen to some of the medicine that has been prescribed to us over time. Okay, man, come on. You got a teething baby crying. You know what they used to give them babies? This is legit. Morphine! Knock that baby out. Come on, somebody. I had triplets. That might have been coming handy back in the day. <laughs> Woo! Why'd that baby sleep so good? <laughs> Knock them out. Right? You got a cough or diarrhea. You know what they used to give you? Opium. I ain't coughing in a minute. I'm in a third dimension. Come on. <laughs> they used to give you arsenic and mercury to kill, cure some diseases. Arsenic and mercury. You got a toothache? You know what they used to give you? Cocaine. My toothache is gone, and I'm really productive today. <laughs> I'm just getting a lot done. Oh, and you know what you would get if you had asthma? Heroin tablets. Google it. It's real. It's because if someone that we think is of authority or if the majority do it, we buy the lie without research. And that's exactly what the devil does. And here's the good thing. If, you want, if we could compliment the devil on anything, he ain't got new tricks. He pretty much does the same three things, and he's been doing it from day one. From Genesis till now, it's the same three tricks. And the devil knows it, so he manipulates those desires to get you craving poison instead of the goodness of God. Watch what Jesus says in John 10, 10. He really lines this out. He says, the thief's purpose is to steal, kill, and destroy. My purpose is to give them rich and satisfying life. He's telling you the devil's going to try to tell you his way is the right way when actually his way is just to kill those things in your life, destroy the things in your life, and rob you of the things in your life. I'm trying to give you rich and satisfying life. And so the devil's going to manipulate those desires inside of your life. If it feels good, do it. If it sounds good, do it. If you crave it, give in. And a lot of those cravings and those desires are temporary. And here's the kicker. They will feel good for a little bit. They'll satisfy for a little bit. They'll cover that pain for a little bit. If you're going through a lot of stress or hurt or, or, or heartache, you know what? Self-medicating with that substance will feel good in the moment. It will distract you. You won't feel clear. You, it will get you thinking and feeling something else. But sooner or later, that substance wears off, and the reality's right there, back in your face. So what do you need? You need more of the substance. You need more self-medication. And you continue to drown out your problems. It feels good to be in a pitiful state. It feels good to be a victim. It feels good to have people feel sorry for you. But guess what? People only feel sorry for you for a limited amount of time. And sooner or later, they get exhausted that you haven't moved on with life. So you keep needing more people and no, more people and more people. And sooner or later, you become the boy who cries wolf. And no one listens to you. It feels good when your emotions are riled up to give in to that craving. It feels good to give in to that sexual drive. It feels good to let your anger just ugh, just explode and just act and say and do whatever you want in the moment, but there's consequences that are attached to that. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, ring and ding that bell so you never miss a video or a live stream, and give this a share to one of your friends. And remember, we go live every single Sunday. Till next time, pray God's peace.